Lynn here. Welcome back to my Country Craft Corner. How in the world are you guys doing today? And I know I'm all muffled. I know it. But I have a wonderful little Etsy shop to bring to you guys today. Oh my goodness, look at this pretty mask. Isn't this pretty? And I'm going to take it off right now and I'll show it to you up close. But I'm very muffled right now, obviously, and we can't have that. <laughs> But I wanted to, you know, introduce a lovely little lady. I, uh, her name is Beth, and she has her own Etsy shop. And Beth is the daughter of my travel agent, actually, Pam. And she has been making these beautiful, beautiful masks. Now, I'm waiting to hear from Pam. I haven't heard from her. I, I texted her, but I haven't heard back from her about, uh, you know, I'm not sure if she would be able to get you these by Christmas, but she has an array of masks and, and a ton of different uh, designs. So I thought I would go ahead and bring this to you and show you some of the masks that I've gotten from her. They are, I believe, $10 a piece, which is not bad at all. And they are the quality is unsurpassed, you guys. It is unsurpassed. So let me just show you what I have. I'm also going to bring you a flower arrangement, my very last flower arrangement in my Christmas decor series. Now, I know I said my next video would be my home tour, but now I'm going to say my next video will be my home tour. I forgot about this vase. This is a blue and white vase, and I'm not dressed to match my vase. Instead, I'm dressed to match my, my mask, which is what gave me the idea to go ahead and let you guys know about this. But these are beautifully made. They're double side. Well, she's got pretty material on the inside. And you could wear it like that if you wanted to. You know, why not? And uh, But it, oh, they all have coordinating material on the back. She sends them. Here's another Christmas one. She sends them with the elastic untied, which I really like because sometimes the masks I get are too big or too small. And, you know, you have no way to fix the size. This way you you tie them together, you know, to fit your face. So, but isn't this cute little, little penguins? Oh my goodness, and she's very careful with how she sews, obviously. And then this one, look at that pretty red, is uh, on the back. And there's no reason why you couldn't wear that like that. Absolutely no reason. So cute, so cute. So I got three different Christmases, Christmas ones. I bet you can under, I bet you can guess what's on the third one. <laughs> Cardinals, whoop whoop, and look at the inside, red and black buffalo check to match my vest. You know, I love it. I love it. So, and then I also got she has some Alaska themed masks, but she also have has tons more. It's not just you know. Uh, Alaska or whatever, but she's got some, whoops, she's got some, these have uh, moose and, and trees, and they're really cute, and with, just with a plain kind of interior, and then she got, she has these, look at the little buffalo check on them, look at the bear there, cute, that's the, and that's the inside, isn't that cute? Oh my goodness, y'all. I am telling you, I highly recommend this young lady. Uh, she's a Christian lady who I know has a great work ethic and I know will get them to you as soon as uh, humanly possible. I'm just not sure how much uh, inventory she has and I will either flash it up here or I will write in the description more of a description because I haven't heard back from my dear friend yet and I wanted to go ahead and be sure to bring these to you if it's okay with her. So I'm actually doing two introductions to my video here. <laughs> Not that you guys will know that. But uh, anyway, I highly recommend it. Uh, link is in the description with more of a description if I have more. So, but do check it out. They're great. They're comfortable. They're reversible. They're lovely. Oh, and they also come with a, a, a slit that you can put um, your filters in too. Look. I wanted to be sure to tell you that. They are. But these are beautifully made. Now, of course, not a slit on both sides. This is meant to be, you know, the front. But you could wear it that way, too. So, 
Anyway, just wanted to tell you about this little lady, and she is just as sweet as the day is long, you guys. And I highly encourage you to go check it out if you need any more masks. Uh, they're very, 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 very nice. All right, now we're gonna get on to my vase. So let me to get my camera. Well, let me show you what I'm gonna be working with first, and then we'll turn the camera and we're gonna put together a quick flower arrangement. My last one for my Christmas decor. This is my literally my last decoration. Chris even got the little tree. I wasn't even going to do this, but Chris got the little tree uh, for the upstairs landing out this morning. Remember that little white tree? And I put colorful uh, ornament garland on that last year. So that's even up. So you'll see that in my home tour. But anyway, all right, I'll be right back in just a so, second. Let me show you the vase that I'm talking about though. So here we go. Oh my goodness. And I'm going to leave this lamb's ear in here. My goodness. All right, this is the vase that I'm talking about. I bought this at Ross several months ago when I first decided, well, shortly after I decided to put everything to blue and white. So this is it. It's very pretty and it sits on the floor. It's very heavy and I'm going to put it down. <laughs> so I stopped at Michael's. I did have some things that I'm going to be using in this. Uh, I had a couple of things of flocked greenery left. I had bought this earlier in the season this year, and I have three beautiful white, oh my goodness, these are gorgeous poinsettias, that I actually had in a large vase arrangement last year, and I did not do that arrangement this year. So I'm going to use these in this arrangement. So three big white poinsettias. And then I bought some other stuff. Uh, mainly, I got these roses these were the only blue anything i could find left anywhere in spots fredericksburg or spotsylvania and i didn't want to order anything online because i'm ready to do my home tour you know so i needed to get something to go in here so i bought three tufts of these roses and i bought some branchy stuff that you'll see and i had some blingy gold leafy stuff that i want to put in with the in with it too so let's get started on this. It's gonna be super pretty, I think, when it's all done. Again, I'm sorry I don't match my decor today. <laughs> I, I, just, I just came on really quick to do this and we're gonna get this up and then I'm gonna start working on my home tour. I'm sorry I kinda of gave you another video before my home tour because I had promised in my last video that it would be my home tour next. So I'm sorry, I hope I didn't disappoint anybody. <laughs> But I thought y'all might enjoy how to do something like this or to watch me do. I am not a floral arranger. Let me say that right straight out. I am not an educated floral designer. I am not an educated anything, crafter or anything. But I just do where my hands go and he is in charge of my hands. So I just let him go and we're going to make us a, a flower arrangement this time. All right, let me get my camera situated and I'll be right back and we will make us a, a Quick flower arrangement. Hopefully it'll be quick. Who knows though? I hope so. All right, I'll be right back. All righty. Let's see if that will work like that. Hopefully kind of got you over my shoulder a little bit. So hopefully that will work. All right. Let me pull this up here. And as I said, I want to keep this lamb's ear in. After doing Candace's wreath like that, I thought it was super pretty. You know, so let me... I'm gonna keep that in there, and then I wanna put these pieces of gold, these blingy pieces of gold in. And I could stop there, because that's super pretty, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, okay, I could, but I won't. Okay, this is one thing I got. This was $9.99, 50% off. Isn't that pretty? It's a flocked branchy kind of thing. So let me put this kind of and then I got some that was $9.99 and these were $7.99. These aren't quite as blingy as that or quite as heavy as that heavily flocked as that I don't know whether I'm gonna use that flocked greedier or not now that I get, I've gotten started on this. I'm just 
just gonna put that. This, this is gonna snug up in a corner next to my hutch. And I have a second one of these. I honestly don't think I wanna use the greenery, the flocked greenery. I do wanna be sure to use these though. So I wanna definitely get them in. put this to the side and we'll use that for something sometime in the future. I also got a couple of these. I'm not sure if I can get them in here or not. These were $7.99 each too. Kind of pretty. And then I just got some flouncy looking stuff. I don't even know whether I'll use that. pretty. Looks good so far. And now what I want to do is add a touch of this blue in. And I don't even know whether I want to cut these apart. Throw some of these in. I don't have, I have one. my friends <laughs> will do it. And again, I'm not a flower arranger, but I like things big and bold and pretty. 
And I think that fits the bill pretty nicely. <laughs> yes, I do. Certainly not perfect, but it is pretty. All right. I think that'll do it. One little sprig left. Stick it in there and two roses, which I'm not gonna. There we go. I think that'll do it, you guys. Pretty, huh? All right, let me clean up this countertop here because I've got flocking and glitter and everything else all over it. And I will be back for some final words. Woo, buddy. Okie dokie, you guys, I'm back. Oh my goodness, I am super happy with how this big flower arrangement turned out. You know, I surprise myself sometimes. I really don't have much confidence in myself when it comes to floral arranging. Uh, I do love to do it and it gets my creative juices flowing. And because I'm so symmetrical, sometimes I have a little trouble with all the bloop, bloop, bloops, flounces and stuff, but I really love how this worked out. And I think it's gonna be super pretty where I'm gonna put it on the floor. It's gonna make a big statement as you walk into the dining room. I can't even get it down to show you guys. But <laughs> it turned out to be pretty large and this vase makes for a great receptacle for it. Christmas time or not, I think it's beautiful. So nice and frosty and snowy and uh, I love it. I love how it worked out. <laughs> so thank you guys for stopping in here. I don't even know whether I have any questions or anything. If you have any questions though, I did wanna put a call out for more questions. If you have any more, feel free to uh, ask me. I know most, some people have started on their Vlogmas series starting on December the 1st, and I don't kind of go with that flow, you guys. I just don't because I don't know that I can do a video every day from now until Christmas. I've done a lot of videos in the last couple of weeks or so, really more than that. <laughs> so I will be coming back with my own version of my Vlogmas. And I don't even know whether I'll number them, but I'll probably just call them Vlogmas Q&A or Vlogmas Ride in the Country or Vlogmas Peanut Butter Fudge or, you know, whatever else Chris and I get ourselves into. Vlogmas. It might just be Vlogmas, I'm going to sit and talk with you about nothing, you know, <laughs> because oh, I'm pretty, you know, I'm, I'm so glad to be done by decorating and I am so happy with how it worked out, with how everything worked out this year. We, Chris and I both worked really hard to bring this to fruition. And my vision for the red and the white, especially on this side of the house, really came together beautifully. And then the blues, the ice blues and the silvers and the whites over on the other side. It's beautiful. Yes, it is two different decors, but they're separated by the staircase. And it's okay, it doesn't bother me. You would think something like that would bother me, but it really doesn't. It doesn't, it's like I go into one icy winter wonderland into uh, another, you know, so. But anyway, I'm gonna put this into place and I'll take a quick picture of it into pla in place. And that will be it for my series, honestly. It will be it for my, uh, my Christmas decor series, <laughs> 2020. And really and truly, the next video you see will be my home tour. So, with all that said, but ask me some more questions, by the way. But ask me, some, I never finished my sentence, for crying out loud. Ask me some questions if you have any, you know, and I'll, be, and I'll share them after the home tour. We'll start maybe Vlogmas out with a Q&A or something like that. All right, all right. Let me go into my final words and say thank you so much for stopping in here again. Uh, I appreciate it if you would subscribe if you haven't. I was looking at my analytics and I see as many people who watch are subscribed as not subscribed. I get, you know, a lot of people who are watching but are not subscribed. So if you 
you know, continue to stop by, I would really appreciate it if you would go ahead and subscribe and hit that uh, share and, you know, hit the bell so you never miss any, you know, an upload of mine. I can't even talk about that. I hate asking for subbies, you guys. I really hate it. I really would like to get to 30,000 by Christmas. I don't think I'm going to make it, but I would like to, you know, I think that would be kind of a cool thing, you know, just to say, hey, I made it. I made it 30,000 by Christmas, but regardless, I appreciate you guys stopping in here, regardless of if you're, <laughs> you're subscribed or not. Honestly, I really do. And for those of you who may be struggling or suffering with a catastrophic illness or chronic pain, I hope that you have someone there with you, taking care of you, helping you get through each day, making the very, very best out of each day. It's so hard at this time of year, isn't it? It's so hard. I have a friend, a dear friend, who is, is facing some surgery today. You know, and I just, it's just at right here at this time of year and you just, but anyway, I hope there's nothing weighing on your minds, something weighing on my mind or your hearts, pulling your attention away from where it should be, from where you want it to be or from where it should be. I love y'all to bits, to bits, to bits, hugs all around and I keep you in my thoughts and my prayers every single day. And with all that said, I'll just say, until next time, y'all take good, good care. Bye-bye.